I'd like to add to Olaf's quote that I found most enchanting, today a reader, tomorrow a leader, and say that uh, learn to be late and not to hate. Because as important as it is that we must become free by learning to read, if we don't learn to be late on another, which is what emotional literacy is, we will never be able to connect up with humanity. And as important as the freedom and the social justice is of uh, learning to read, the importance of finding our shared humanity through our shared feelings uh, is another key component of moving this entire agenda along. It's not enough to survive. We have to allow children to thrive. And lonely, isolated brains don't do them do well, don't learn well. So I think the accompanying piece, the icing on the cake, is the idea that we work with the whole child. And the core of our humanity is our feelings. So emotional literacy is a foundational literacy of life. It's universal. We all share those same feelings. We may this, uh, we have to look at the landmines in the heart, as well as the, uh, the economic disasters. There are also emotional disasters. So, at the core of the work we're doing, and all of my life was initially with uh, teaching children to read and helping teenage mothers learn how to read, because the Careborn Sanctuary of the Family is where it all starts. And I just want to add on to that reading one another's cues really takes. I'm not uh, anti-technology, I'm pro-relationships, and I think now we know that five-year-olds entering the school system, their executive functioning is way, way below what it was with children uh, three decades ago. So we think we're making huge uh, advances in sophistication. Well, I think we have forgotten our humanity in the mix, and that as much as we value as nations uh, moving ahead with technology, we also must have a parallel march of maintaining our connection one to the other. We need to become a globalized, borderless world who are connected up because of our capacity to care. And we are at risk and at our peril that we allow unmanaged screen time. We spend so much time worrying about the multiple literacies that we have neglected the, the core of our humanity. And uh, I think the, you know, there's a, a steady uptick of emotional ineptitude and children's emotional regulation is at a much lower level than it used to be in the context of the world we're living in this new decade, which I'm hoping will be a more empathic decade. The last decade I kind of view was the decade of the brain where there was an avalanche of research that brought social science and hard science closer together so that we could understand the impact of the technologies on the spirit on the, the healthy development of a child. So just as the UN has done a brilliant job of supporting literacy and health and the wealth of nations, I think on a microscope on the impact of living in uh, developed societies, what is the impact of that on the, uh, the development of a child? And I don't think we have a clear lens on the toxicity of uh, the, some of the technology that our children are exploring, the, uh, exposed to, through an overload of information. And somewhere in the breaks is our humanity. And I think if we realize that the, the level of a child's emotional literacy at grade three is a better predictor of their academic performance at grade eight than is a math or literacy score in grade three, there is a real big message here, and I think we only measure what we treasure. And why aren't we measuring how our children feel? It is a tremendous program, and her book captures the beauty of what you can teach gesturally, visually, um, in terms of reaching in a very powerful way than written word. We're obviously big believers. So put into words the love that a mother infant have for each other. But you can observe that and understand that and capture the tone of that in your own life. And so what she's doing is tremendously important. Um, it's so eloquent that you can't 
put all the words to it, if you will, and we think it's a great starting point, and that you know, anything that supports children learning at a very, very young age more about things and their place in the world is really important.